As Oklahoma prepares for the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine, local priests are speaking out against it on moral grounds. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be a game changer. It's only one dose and it can be stored in a refrigerator, which will help vaccinate more people in rural areas. But the Diocese in Tulsa says pharmaceutical companies need to make vaccines with no connection to abortion. New Tonight News Channel 8's Ethan Hutchins explains why. There's a moral dilemma standing in the way for some in the Catholic community from welcoming the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine to Oklahoma. If you had a choice, it would be better to avoid the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Father Patrick Gallus over at St. Bernard Catholic Church is asking his parishioners to think twice about taking the vaccine, saying it has moral implications. To use Johnson & Johnson vaccine in and of itself would not be a sin. The issue, he says, are the cell lines from reportedly a decades-old aborted fetus used to test, produce, and manufacture the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Moderna and Pfizer reportedly were only tested with cell lines, but not in the production. Catholics are perhaps especially sensitive to the issue. But Father Gallus, even going a step further, comparing the vaccines to Nazi research. It would be like making use of... Um, of uh, material gain through the Nazi medical exams, the uh, experiments in the Second World War. Uh, it's, it's morally compromised. Just to clarify, you compared it to um, how the, the Nazis, they, had, they did a lot of testing. Is that what you said? Yes. Despite his ethical concerns, Father Gallus still encourages his parishioners to get the vaccine, though he suggests Pfizer or Moderna. Though the Catholic community is warning against the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the company says, quote, there is no fetal tissue in the vaccine. The fact that the research shows there's not actually cell tissue in the vaccine, does that change your opinion? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not a scientist. An incoming third vaccine, bringing with it a dose of ethical drama. Reporting in Tulsa, Ethan Hutchins, News Channel 8. The Diocese of Tulsa and Eastern Oklahoma posted a statement on its Facebook page. It says it remains very important that we contact the pharmaceutical companies and insist that they develop cell lines that have no connection to abortion.